What's going on guys? Power GPU here. Um, I haven't done a video in about a month or so. The uh, reason why I'm doing this video, um, it's December 6th, uh, which this month I will be building my new machine. Um, let's, I don't really call my machines anything really, so we'll just call it Dream Machine of 2012, I guess you can say. Um, just to give you an idea of what I'm going with, I am going with the Sanya Bridge E uh, processors. Um, I will be going with the Intel 3930K. Um, just because it's the best value for performance, there's no point of spending thousand fifty dollars on the X version when it's three megabytes of L3 cache more and you know 100 megahertz more. It's not a big deal. But I could overclock it no problem. Um, another thing I will be doing, I am going with three 7970s. So when those come out and release, which will be in January, uh, so when I build this new machine, it'll probably be around December, probably end, mid or to end, you know, towards of the end December. Um, it's going to be, I'm only going to have one 570, uh, just to benchmark with. Um, after that, once the new cards come out, then I will use the 37970s to do the full review on the machine, benchmarking performance and see what we can get out of it as far as 3D Mark 11 and some benchmarks and games. Um, you guys are probably wondering what's going on back here. Um, I'm actually doing two system builds for two of my friends. Um, one of my friends got a great deal on this board, if you guys remember it the EVGA classified board that came in. Um, he bought it on uh, EVGA's website for $169. It was on sale for the whole Black Friday special and all that. Um, and then my other friend's going with the P67 with a 2700K and two GTX 460s ASUS DirectCU versions. Um, so it's nothing too extreme builds, uh, but they're meant just to play uh, Star Wars, the new one that comes out. Um, that's the main purpose for these two builds. So it's kind of funny, but you know, these are these are the these two friends that I have. This is their first PC ever uh, for both of them, so they will they'll enjoy it over consoles, which they were used to before. Um, the other thing, too, guys, um, I don't know if you guys like the new layout of YouTube. Just let me know, comment um, on my channel. Uh, let me know if you like it. If not, I can just go back to the original. I just want to see you know you guys' opinion on it, um, and then hopefully uh, when the seventy nine seventies come out, I'm allowed to order three. Last time they only put a cap of two on the 580s uh, when they first came out and the first 6970s as well. So hopefully I can order three. If not, I can get one at Tiger Direct here locally. If anything, you know, worst case scenario. Um, and of course, you know, leaving, you know, if you guys want to send me a message or anything, send me it through YouTube, PM me, um, so that way I can answer you. Um, I, I've been getting some that I've been through Facebook and stuff like that. I'm very rarely on Facebook. Uh, so just get me on YouTube. It's a lot easier and just a lot faster. Um, I still, well, I don't know if you can see right behind me, I still have my old machine with the 3570s water cooled and the 27, the 2600K uh, with the Gigabyte UE7 board. That will be gone, like I said, December 15th. I've sold it. The guy will pick it up on the 15th and I'll be ready to order my new parts and everything. Um, I'm, I'm still using my uh, Sony NX46 inch uh, 711, which I've been demanding to go back to three monitors, but I, I've, from all the nightmare that RMP Connect has been telling me from some games in here and there. I think I'm just going to stick with the 146 inch for right now. I am going to try to get a hold of a 2560 by 1600 monitor uh, before the 7970s seven come out. And the other thing I wanted to mention is, I don't know if you guys have seen the specs yet on the 7970s. Um, they're pretty ridiculous. They come standard with 3 gigs of VRAM, uh, which is, finally, I'm glad they started using a lot more VRAM. It's very inexpensive on video cards. It's like 40 bucks a gig, uh, which they need to start doing. I will tell you this now, um, the architect that they are using, AMD uh, and NVIDIA, are using the same 20 nanometer technology, and they're both promising a gigahertz on the core, uh, you know, on NVIDIA side and on the AMD side. Um, hopefully, like I was telling uh, RMP Connect is, if NVIDIA comes out with their cards and they have the one gigahertz on the core, if you notice that NVIDIA always has the least amount of VRAM uh, compared to AMD cards. AMD's always had, you know, two gigs, you know, stuff like that, and then, they, you know, NVIDIA so I was a little bit back in the VRAM. Um, hopefully they put more than two gigs because Ryan's been doing a lot of tests and in video surround, all these games use up over 2,000 megabytes of VRAM, easily. I mean, Dirt 3 the other day, he was, he was playing, he was using 2,700 megabytes of VRAM. 2.7 gigs of VRAM, which is ridiculous. So three gigs, I think, is a sweet spot for if anybody wants to do video surround. And on one monitor, honestly, two gigs is, is enough. Um, Battlefield 3 gets it to about 1,700. Which is probably the most that you know that I've seen so far, and Ryan and RMP Connect have seen. So, hopefully, Nvidia puts three gigs. Hopefully, uh, you know I don't want to fall back on the VRAM because that's the biggest thing that they're, they're kind of struggling right now. Of course, you can get the three gig model and stuff like that, which I think Nvidia is just doing that to get 
more money, of course. Um, so that's all they really want. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, the specs on the 7970 are very promising. Um, they got 2,000 streaming processors, of course. Um, the, the memory bit interface, they're, they're not sure yet. Hopefully it's 384. If it is, that's fantastic for that, of course. Um, and uh, like I said, the VRAM is crazy. Our ROPSs as well, um, it's doubling the 6970. It's at 64 versus 30. Um, the 7950 is actually very close uh, to the 7970 in specs. It's only like 100 something streaming processors less, four ROP, uh, ROPSs uh, you know, less. Uh, it's got like three gigs of VRAM as well, same thing there. So it's very close as far as that aspect. Um, the other thing too is the memory bandwidth on these cards are over 260 gigabytes per second, which the 6970s were about 176, which is, that's great. Uh, that way, you know, the, of course the memory bit interface is the biggest thing for if you want to do three way SLI or two way SLI, it gives you, you know, better scaling as far as that aspect. So I can't wait. I'm actually very excited for these cards. Um, and like I said, AMD lately has been on top of drivers, which has been very good. Um, and I hope they continue that, that stream of, of, you know, driver support because that was the biggest thing that they were lacking back in the past. So hopefully, you guys, you guys will see my new machine. Um, hopefully, you enjoy it. And of course, leave some comments at the bottom. Subscribe up top if you guys like. If not, it's okay. It's no problem. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Power GPU signing out. Have a good day, guys.